Morning! It's another glorious morning, isn't it? Hey, who'd have thought this on a bank holiday? Um, just me and Andy today. Oh, my dad. He's here as well. Uh, M's off. And then I think Andy and M are both off tomorrow. So, they get the uh, bank holiday Monday off. Be nice for them. Spend some time with their people. Not just here, with me. Dragging them down. <laughs> <laughs> That's feeding round on the TM. As M's not here, I'm on the gate, aren't I? Letting Andy in, letting my dad in. Playing with the cows. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Move it. Come on. Playing with the steady cows. <laughs> There we go. Come on. I'm supposed to have this open for Andy. Morning, Andy. Morning, Jay. Did you know that you're now a model? No, I'm a clothing model. model. Oh, yeah, yeah. Farm, farm clothing model. Farm clothing model is Andy. If uh, people want to see Andy's uh, clothing model photo shoot, it's on uh, joeseals.com. from yesterday of M on TikTok. I'd just like to state it was Andy's idea. <laughs> but I quite happily put it up. Brilliant, ain't you? Eh? She's just like that willing to give anything that we ask her a try and try her hardest. That she'll try and do the impossible. Like trying to lift that lorry back door like while she's stood on it. She's, she's got an heart of gold on that last. She's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Ah, there's some bullock. He's a big lad as well. He must be between 750 and 800 kilos, that one. Too big, really. Aren't you, fella? Not friendly, either. You might be friendly, though. Hey, you all right? And uh, I don't think Andy's strode these up yet. No, he's not. You'll be getting some in a minute, won't you? Hey, you big softy. Look at them. Just been trying to eat my hand. Now Squish is telling him off. Probably see Andy around this corner, I think. Oh yeah, there he is, right down the bottom. I'm gonna get some hay out of this shed here <laughs> that you can't see through these windows. Uh, oh, square bales are finished. Looks like I've got to take them from there. Okay, I'll wait for Andy to get out of here. Well, this weather's gonna do. We've not looked at the forecast, but if it stops like this, we're gonna to have to start thinking about getting some maize actually in the ground, I think. I think Andy's been doing the plowing for it. Um, I don't know if you want Andy cams, actually. Maybe I'll put these in here. Um, just need to work it down and yeah, get it planted. So, hmm, interesting. Ash is here anyway, just turned up. There he is! Morning, Ash! Morning, you alright? Yeah, mix it working, innit? Yeah, it is tomorrow. Oh well, we'll see him tomorrow. tomorrow. Ash is helping me out, unwrapping the hay that I've just put in. I've got this square bale on now to go down there, but if I go and put it in front of that gate, I'll be blocking Andy's way, so I'll just wait here for a minute. So, we've got a little issue here. Hello, fella. Hello, guys. Andy's bedded these up well. This water pipe should be running along this bar, not being pulled down into the bottom. You can see all the, the stuff on it. 
So the cows have been eating it and pulling it down. Now Ash tells me that he fixed this other day. Mick. Oh, oh, well, send them all. Yeah. Say no more. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Brothers here, everybody. Hello, Ben. Hello. Huh? No one will want to watch this. I don't know. Happy Easter. And he's now setting the bales up for me, ready for tomorrow morning. He's moved these off first from the front of the trailer because he'll end up blocking himself in otherwise. So it's like a bit of a game of chess, you got to think of the next move. Well done, Andy. And it's coming in now. Whoa, Whoa Bobby. Let me get out of the way. They couldn't see me around there. I've got to get off to the field with the pond in the middle because the cows have escaped. And this is in the one that's had the fence repaired all, all summer. All, all winter they've been repairing the fence and obviously not done. So well, we're in here and we think that the cows have got in to some spring barley over there. Whether somebody's left a gate or opened a gate and not shut it, we're not quite sure as of yet, but we'll find out. This gate was shut and obviously somebody's opened it and left it open. So we've got some at the other side of the fence there, then there's a fence here in front as well, and then other side of that. We don't farm, and for some reason the cattle are in there. Plenty of birds about today. Two love birds there. <laughs> now me, Ash and Andy are walking the perimeter, looking for tracks. We've seen tracks all along back there. So there must be a gap somewhere in this fence. Finding it, it's a big open space and the perimeter is very long. We must have walked a mile or so already. Let's see how it goes. So we found some more tracks here. Hey Andy, it's a bit heavy and he got his thousand steps in today. <laughs> yeah, what do you reckon, Ash? Yeah, I reckon that's what he'd be doing. Yeah, I'll drive pick up round, lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a good idea if you walk right outside. <laughs> We're getting walking tomorrow. Andy, if you want to, you know, night away with yeah. your lass. Yeah. There you go, you see? Yeah, bring your sleeping bag, you'd be all right, wouldn't you? I thought it always would, that. It's the first time I've come near it. It's actually a shipping container. Well, you know what it'd be like around here, I should set fire to it. <laughs> My dad's over there, a good distance away from us, just how we like it. <laughs> well, this land here used to be an 18th century, 18th century I think it is, tip. So there's loads and loads and loads of gra glass in it, which not so great for cows really, but um, it will end up going away. But you just find stuff like this. A bottle, and what's this say on it? Tablespoons, 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 glass bottle. So I'll take that home, add it to my little glass collection from here. I found, um, I found one and it were like some root pills or something, a real small bottle and I suppose it were worth, I don't know, I was gonna say it's worth worth finding, but it were like 15 quid or something. Mm -hmm. Another one over there, Andy. Mm -hmm. There we go, another one. That's quite a nice looking one, that. And there. And what, you found another? Like Not yet. They're all old. You find loads of shoes as well if you start looking like sand, like bottom of sandals and pieces of pot. I had a, we came and so they've dug all these sections out 
and I came to roll the grass down and I came back. How many glass bottles did I have, uh, Ash? I pretty much filled the club, cab floor with all these different types of glass bottles. I ended up being quite selective in, um, in what I got because I got that many. But, uh, oh, another one, you just walked past one, guys. Look at this, eh? They're not on it, these two. No, this is a... Uh, 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 I'll, I'll read it and then I'll let you know. The second <laughs> one that I've got is a chest and lung mixture. Syrup of linseed and licorice. So, I wonder if there's any left in it. <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> Cure for COVID. Cure for COVID right well, there. So we found it now. Em and my dad walked all the way around outside of here. It's all fenced. <laughs> this is a gap, massive gap. Crackers. Like, you need like another three, three or four steaks and, and fencing. Like, you can't just stop. That'll be enough, that'll be fine. The cows won't walk around the perimeter and find the edge, will they? No. God almighty. Because somebody's not done the job right and not finished the fence off. We've had to cut the barbed wire, make a gap in the fence, and hopefully they'll come down here. Four of us have had to come down and sort it, spending I don't know how much. Now we're gonna have to try and walk them back down and out. They are pretty well behaved. Just hope that they see the gap in the fence when we get down there. Guys, I think they've seen the gap. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Come on, then. Come on, lad. Come on, boy. They know, they know that they want to go through there as well. And we'll open that and then they can go back in that side. So our plan now is to push the big group out of this section that's got the fence missing and um, we'll let this grass grow. I mean, what part of it is grass? There's a lot of thistles in here. Um, just just keep them off this, just let it grow a little bit and then put them in and you never know, maybe the fencing firm, cowboy fencers, might come back and, uh, and finish the job. Because I think the idea is it's all fox proof. Well, let me tell you now, a fox can get round that uh, 10 metre gap in fence. <laughs> oh, honestly. So this was all planted with a wildflower mixture. But um, when they dug all these out, they put the topsoil on. Not, not, not the topsoil, the subsoil went on top and it's just never grown. Um, it's mostly thistles and stuff now. But in eventually, maybe in 10 or 15 years, it, it'll come, but it'll need reseeding, I think. Um, but that's out of our control, that's not in our remit. We just put the cattle in here, they graze it. Um, the, the choice of what's planted in it is, is yeah, nothing to do with us. So. That bottle hmm. digging. And what, what was it, Andy? Yeah, when I was ploughing, Winnie the Pooh popped up. <laughs> Honestly, he must have hit his face or something where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Didn't find Piglet there? No, no, Piglet gone. Eeyore was not around he, either. No, he no Eeyore. I oh, was a bit lonely then. Did you put did him at camp with you? No, no, I left him. He's somewhere. Oh, <laughs> <Whoa>, winning. <laughs> Back at the missing bit. Let's see how far it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish metres. Missing. They dug it out, so they must have known that, like, you've got to carry on. All this uh, netted fence is dug into the ground to stop foxes coming in. Do you think this barbed wire will stop foxes, Andy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Is it not worth bothering? I think neither that. Wouldn't we have put uh, posting it other side at feds? For our cattle push it. 
Mm -hmm. Tidy up all the fencing that was left behind. None of that's been took out. And my dad's lost his dog now. Little bits of barbed wire just chucked in grass as well. Great, great for environment, isn't it? We were just working for a couple of hours this morning. <laughs> oh god. Oh well, at least you got tomorrow off, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll ring you when they're out tomorrow. <laughs> so Andy and Ash are leaving me now. Um, Andy's done a little bit extra today, but it's got like a day and a half off, Andy. Yeah, right. be nice. Weather's going to be good. He's going to go for a little drive, I'm sure, because you know, where might he end up, Ash? Eh? Might end up at York with some pancakes. Yeah, yeah, he might go to Edinburgh or somewhere and then like um, go to London for some uh, pancakes or yeah, something. Round trip. Yeah. Loves loves putting miles on his car. So yeah, these guys will go and I'll probably just catch a few videos of what I'm doing this afternoon. Business, bye guys. It's full of enthusiasm there. <laughs> Absolutely full of it. <laughs> bye. Just been doing a photo shoot for me. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like we do all this videoing stuff and it's like sort of day to day, but then like as soon as it turns to like a photograph, it's like this is a bit weird. Isn't it? Anyway. We've done it now, so I'm gonna put these t-shirts, they're online. Um, if you've not got the size that you want, then you can request the size and I'll get them in stock and then um, it'll send you an email when they're back in stock and you can purchase it then. Business! So I've just finished my dinner. I'm gonna do a mix. I'm just climbing over the gate here. Um, but I thought I'd do a, um, a live while I'm, uh, while I'm doing this mix. It's on my own, I have a chat to people. If you subscribe, you'll get a notification for it. Um, oh, I'm getting greeted by the dogs now. But I can't find my phone holder, so I'm having to go back to the house, try and find the phone holder so I can put it in the JCB. Doggies. So yeah, it's feeding out to these guys. They've been loving it. So these fellas are enjoying their fodder beat. coming to see me hey how you doing <laughs> they are lovely cows to work with these fellas every day I get to play on tractors as well that's what you get as a farmer you get to play with cows tractors open spaces sunshine yeah, it does rain a bit in England as well but you know it's it's sunny today so let's forget about forget about the rainy days it's all good Right. We're in the 7.5 now. I know some of you like this sort of thing, so I might as well give it a go. I've been putting the molasses in with this pipe here outside, stood out there. It's windy. I don't know if you can see that brown stuff on my arms. Molasses, mm. I'm absolutely covered in it, just like a nice spray of it covering me. Smells nice though, I think it smells nice. What do you think? Do you like molasses? It tastes like quite salty and it's got a, I'd say it's got a distinctive smell which I think is alright but some people might not like. Let me know in comments. Let me know, and if you don't know what molasses is, also let me know in comments. Well that's about it from me today. If you've liked this video, please press that like button. And if you're not already, just sub subscribe. Just do it. Do it today. It's Easter Sunday. Just think, stuff it. This is a day I'm going to subscribe to Joe. Then I'll get notifications of when they go live. Then I'll get notifications when his video comes out because I often try and do it early, but sometimes it goes into being like eight and nine o'clock. And if you had a notification, then you could just watch it straight away and you can get on with the rest of your life. And anyway, I'm rambling on. Subscribe, eh? All right, see ya. Bye. Tomorrow, big mix here. We'll see if we can get him into his extra, extra, extra large t-shirt. <laughs> JoeSeals.com if anybody else wants one. See you later, guys. Bye.